Today, we're uncovering the 10 things not to do in a library. But before we dive into this world of bookish etiquette, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us keep creating valuable content. Now, let's begin. 1. Speak loudly. Libraries are revered as sanctuaries of knowledge and learning, where individuals come to engage in quiet reflection and concentrated study. The practice of speaking loudly in a library disrupts this atmosphere and can be incredibly disruptive to those seeking a peaceful environment for reading, research, and deep thinking. A hushed ambience in libraries is not arbitrary, it is deliberately maintained to facilitate the cognitive processes of those who visit. When people speak softly or in hushed tones, it respects the unspoken pact of quietude and allows everyone to focus on their intellectual pursuits without the distraction of audible disruptions. The whispered conversations within libraries also uphold a social contract of respect and consideration for fellow library users. 2. Play music or videos without headphones. Playing music or videos without headphones in a public library is a breach of the fundamental principle of respecting the shared space. Libraries are sanctuaries of silence, carefully cultivated for the purpose of reading, studying, and research. The intrusion of audio from personal devices can be not only disruptive, but also highly inconsiderate of other patrons who rely on the library's quiet environment to focus and concentrate. By using headphones, one can enjoy their music or videos without imposing their preferences on those around them, allowing for a harmonious coexistence of individual interests within the library. The use of headphones in libraries is not just about minimizing noise, it also signifies a recognition of the diverse needs and purposes of library users. 3. Use your phone without silencing it. Allowing your phone to ring loudly in a library without silencing it can be a significant disruption to the quiet and concentrated atmosphere that libraries aim to provide. In today's digital age, phones have become an integral part of our lives, but their sounds, like ringtones and message alerts, can shatter the tranquility of a library setting. Even a single loud ring can jolt people out of their deep focus, causing frustration and potentially affecting their productivity. Setting your phone to silent or vibrate mode is a simple act of courtesy that shows respect for fellow library users who depend on the library's serene environment for reading, studying, and research. 4. Eat or drink noisily. Eating or drinking noisily in a library can be disruptive and inconsiderate to both fellow patrons and the library's purpose as a place of quiet, focused study. Libraries are spaces where people come to read, research, and learn, and the audibility of food consumption can detract from this environment. Loud, crunchy, or slurping sounds can not only annoy those nearby, but also disrupt the concentration of others who rely on the peaceful atmosphere of the library to engage with their materials. Consequently, if you find it necessary to have a snack or a drink in the library, it's essential to do so discreetly and select foods and beverages that produce minimal noise. By eating or drinking quietly and choosing items that are not disruptive, you're demonstrating respect for the shared space and the people within it. 5. Leave a mess. Leaving a mess in a library is not only impolite but also goes against the fundamental principles of respect for shared public spaces. Libraries are cherished as havens of order and knowledge, and the presence of a mess disrupts the meticulously maintained environment that fosters productive study and research. It is the responsibility of library users to treat these spaces with the utmost consideration, and this includes cleaning up after oneself. This means returning books and materials to their designated spots, maintaining a tidy work area, and disposing of trash properly. By doing so, you contribute to a harmonious and efficient atmosphere in which everyone can enjoy a clean and organized library. Keeping libraries clean is also a sign of appreciation for the valuable resources and services they provide. 6. Run or be physically disruptive. Running, row housing, or making loud physical movements within a library is not only disruptive but also counter to the purpose and atmosphere libraries are designed to provide. Libraries are places for quiet reflection, study, and intellectual engagement. Physical disruptions can shatter the tranquility that patrons rely on to focus, read, and learn. Loud movements, such as running or row housing, not only break the silence but can also pose safety risks to library users and damage library materials. Hence, adhering to the rule against such behaviors is essential for maintaining the library as a peaceful and functional space. Respecting the prohibition on physical disruptions in libraries is an expression of courtesy and understanding of the needs of fellow library users. 7. Have loud conversations. 
Speaking loudly or having conversations at a normal volume in a library is discouraged because libraries are intended to be spaces of quiet contemplation and concentration. In a bustling world filled with noise and constant communication, libraries offer a precious sanctuary for those seeking to read, study, and engage with information. The cacophony of loud conversations can disrupt the tranquility that many people rely on when they visit the library, making it challenging for others to concentrate and absorb knowledge. Therefore, lowering one's voice and refraining from holding conversations at a regular volume is an essential practice for preserving the library's intended purpose. 8. Ignore library rules. Ignoring library rules can have a negative impact on the overall library experience for all patrons. Libraries establish specific rules and guidelines to ensure that this space remains conducive to reading, studying, and research for everyone. These rules are often in place to preserve order, protect materials, and maintain a respectful and peaceful atmosphere. Familiarizing yourself with the library's rules is not only a sign of responsible citizenship, but also a way to show consideration for fellow library users. It helps ensure that the library remains a place where individuals can pursue their intellectual and academic goals in a harmonious and organized environment. 9. Monopolize Public Computers Monopolizing public computers in a library can be inconsiderate and disrupt the equitable access to these vital resources. Libraries provide public computers to offer patrons the opportunity to access educational materials, conduct research, apply for jobs, and perform various other tasks. When one person occupies a public computer for an extended period, especially during busy hours, it can prevent others from utilizing this valuable service. Libraries aim to serve as a community resource where everyone has equal access to information and technology, and hogging a computer goes against the spirit of this mission. Being mindful of the time you spend on public computers, especially during peak hours, is an essential practice to ensure fairness and equal opportunity for all library users. 10. Distract others. Distracting others in a library goes against the fundamental purpose of these spaces as environments for quiet reflection and concentrated study. Libraries are sanctuaries of learning, and they are designed to provide a peaceful atmosphere where individuals can engage with knowledge and ideas. Disruptive behaviors such as pacing, tapping, or engaging in any activity that diverts attention can impede fellow patrons' ability to concentrate on their academic or research tasks. By respecting the focus of others and refraining from such behaviors, you contribute to a considerate and supportive environment where people can maximize their productivity and intellectual growth. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more informative content, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below.